In this video, we're going to look at how to set an IP address on a Galaxy Display Controller. Setting an IP address would be necessary in order to make the display compatible with a customer's network during the time of installation. It would also be necessary if that controller was ever replaced. All Galaxy displays ship from manufacturing with a default IP address programmed onto them of 172.16.192.25. In order to make that display compatible with a customer's network, that IP address would need to be changed so that it would be on the same subnet as the customer's network. The program used to set an IP address is called m2config and can be downloaded at our DAC files website. Do this by navigating your web browser to dacfiles.dactronics.com. Once there, click on Venus 1500 then Utils for Utilities, and M2Config. Click on the setup.exe file and then go ahead and run that to install M2Config on your computer. The next step of the process would be to set your computer's IP address to be similar to the display's default IP address. To do this, click on your little Wi-Fi icon in the bottom right and then open Network and Sharing Center. Once the window opens, click on Change Adapter Settings. Then you want to right click on Local Area Connection and click Properties. Now select Internet Protocol version 4 and again select Properties. And here's where we can change it over to use the following IP address. Again, I want to set this to something similar to what the display showed when it booted up. I usually go to a dot 20 for the last set of numbers. Once you've got that IP address programmed in there, click OK and then click Close. Now we can go to the M2 Config Utility, click Network and configure the connection because we need to tell M2 Config how it's going to make that connection to the display. Click on TCP IP for Ethernet connection and then in this box just enter the IP address that the display showed on the boot sequence and then click OK. Now go back to network and click connect and you can see that it has now made a software connection to the display. To change the IP address click on the communications folder on the left then click TCP IP and here's where you can change the IP address of the display controller. So let's say for example the customer told you that they wanted this set to a 192.168.11.1 address. The IP address should be provided by the customer because the display is being tied in with their network and they're the ones that know how the network is set up and what IP addresses are available. Once you've entered in the information that the customer has provided you, click on the blue arrow to upload the configuration to the display. You'll get a message saying that it's been successfully sent and you can just click OK. Now if you can, you can watch the display boot up and on the boot sequence it should show the IP address that you've just programmed onto it. Once you've verified the display controller's IP address has been set, you're now ready to configure the display in Venus 1500 on the customer's computer. Mm -hmm.